Good afternoon. I am back again, Lutra FM. We are on episode 25 of the Fight Club Pro Journey. Uh, first of all, just want to show you this awesome WrestleMania 6 poster t-shirt I got. I got this on for my 40th birthday off my brother. Now, obviously, both of these fellas uh, in real life um have done some very nasty well not some said some very nasty horrible things basically um but i'll always remember them as a, when i was a child and i remember this main event i just i was i was obsessed with wrestling when i was a little kid and i loved both hulk hogan and the ultimate warrior when they fought against each other it was just like my two favorite wrestlers going at it and um I, I think I watched the I, I I got the WrestleMania six video when I, uh, about a year after it after it was um the event happened, and I think I watched that video about a hundred times, like I did with literally all my videos back then. WWE when I was a kid, I I I loved going to car boots with my mom and dad, and I'd always be able to get a wrestling video and uh, yeah. Anyway, nostalgia, um, but yeah, it's it's a really cool. It feels nice as well. It's like a nice material. So I was quite chuffed by that because uh, me and my brothers don't usually get presents for each other because we're not that bothered. It's just we'd rather just save our money. Um, but because it was my 40th, they they both got me um, a wrestling t-shirt. So it was quite chuffed. But yeah, anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, in the last episode, we um, talked about the new TW game. I can't wait for that to come out, by the way. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to even look at the the diary yet i'm going to do that later on today um see what new features are coming out um hopefully i'll be able to thank you for the person who left the comment to let me know i can actually transfer my save game and database over with the converter hopefully it'll it'll work without no issues and we can just carry on this save on tw9 um or tw ix so um yeah so looking forward to that and then obviously last episode we we booked a few more shows um we have new additions in pack and um edge edge comes in with a lot of controversy in the game not in real life so don't panic but in the game he um was part of a big massive steroid uh controversy and uh he his reputation is down the toilet uh annoyingly he's uh, even though I've improved all of his attributes, um, he doesn't seem to be doing that well in the ring. So I don't know how long I've got him for. I might just use him sparingly in the main event or something because he is a big superstar, so it will help. Both Having both Pac and Edge on the cars has made a big difference um, when it comes to getting crowds in. I got my biggest ever crowd of like 425 people in the last, in the, uh, the last event that we did um, called Planet Terror. So it does make a big difference having these big stars in there, even if they can't necessarily go in the ring. Um, I think I, realistically what I would like to do is keep to what I originally wanted to do was basically only use British wrestlers if I can. Um, there will be few exceptions, don't get me wrong. On the women's side, unfortunately, I'm, I've had to hire a lot of these Japanese women because um, it's very hard to find American or British women available that wants to come here that basically is good enough in the ring i really miss Ginny and kaylee ray because they were so good in the ring um every time i put them with anybody they work well but jet is still here she's our champion she is um the standout now we've just got to hope we can keep her i think she is under a written contract i have tied down a lot of my wrestlers to written contracts ironclad clauses so i'm hoping it keeps them there um unfortunately annoyingly i keep i kept forgetting to change the um duration so they're just there for one year i'm hoping in a year's time if we're still doing the save um which i, sh I think we should be that i can time down to longer contracts um but yeah we just gotta keep trying to gain popularity because more pop more popular we get the better broadcast deals we get the more money we can bring in the better wrestlers we can bring in it, it just it all works together so we just got to keep grinding down um, if we don't have many women's matches moving forward, the reason is is basically because we just don't have really good women's workers, other than obviously at the moment Jetta. I think he's the only one. Um, we've got we've got uh, Suri and um, Yu, the two Japanese women wrestlers that are really good in the ring. Unfortunately, their contracts expire at the end of this month, and they don't want to 
renew because they only wanted to come in for three months. So, but we knew that anyway when we when we signed them. But yeah. Um, so anyway, enough about this me waffling on. Um, I'll be back in a sec with our first Afterburn episode. <laughs> Right, we're back for our first Afterburn um, episode. Just going to have a look at the absent workers. Gabe Stevenson is still training for his professional fight. Um, Gazelle, Shaw, uh, Gazelle Shaw and Keo Kabayashi are at the um, seedling event. So is Mayu. Uh, Rampage Brown's out injured. And then we've got a few other women's wrestlers that are in the same event. So, yeah, that's that. Right. So um, I looked at a tag team situation and I looked to see who was available to put in a tag team. And we've got quite a few women's tag teams now. Um, it's all right. I've got to do this stupid... Oh, I've got to do this stupid backstage and something first. Right, let's get this done. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it'd be Johnny Kidd and Bloody Kane again. Right, Dalton Castle was brought before Wrestler's Court. Um, Hughes and Fane's pick up the share of his tab at the bar. The judge, Ed, found him guilty and sent him to buy drinks for the rest of the show. Every, to every, for everybody for the rest of the show, sorry. I wish they had a bit more variety in that. It just seems so boring. Right, let's crack on. So, yeah, as I was saying, we've got quite a few women's tag teams now. So, what we lack, what we lack in women's singles stars, we might be able to make up for in women's tag teams. That might be... It, if anything, what we're lacking in one one division, we might be able to make up in, in another. So we could start a women's tag team title division eventually. Uh, I say this, there's only three tag teams available at the moment. But, there, but overall, there is more than three tag teams. Um, they're just some of them aren't available at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's change this. Uh, do a three-way women's tag team match. There we do that, and then that. There we go. So we've got Isla Dawn and Janie B in a tag team. We've got um, Feckler and Yui in another tag team called the Lost Girls, and then the um, winning team is Zia Brookside and Megan Bain. So you never know. There's a there's a few decentish workers in this um, one. So we'll just put them here. We'll do this as a pre-show just, just to be on the safe side because you just never know. Right, so let's start the show properly. We'll do a men's triple threat tag team match. We'll go male, tag team view. So we'll have the tag champions in there. There's another new tag team called Extreme Heat. So we'll give them a go in there. Um, Colt, no, maybe. Oh, yeah, we've got this one as well. The Disciples of Destruction, which is Scotty Davis and Johnny Idol. So I'll put them here as well. Um, is there any other new tag teams? The Shadows, which is Grado and Rocky Mac. And then we've got a tag team I've made up myself with Kid Lycos and Amazing Red, managed by Rey Mysterio. Um, so at some point, we'll put them in a tag team match. But... Uh, Tag team titles on the line here. And then we'll have Darren Kearney and Nathan Martin retain the tag titles, but we'll make it an open match. Like so. Um, I might just 18 minutes. There we go. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have um we'll have Amazing Red. Microphone, Kid Like Us 2, Microphone. So we'll have these two challenge the Tag Team Champions after the match. So the next episode of Afterburn, or hopefully, if I can remember, we'll have a Tag Team title match between them two. And hopefully it'll be a banger of a match, as Seamus would say. Right, so we've done 29 minutes so far. We've still got plenty of time. So let's have a look at the women's singles one so we'll have Jetta versus somebody uh Jetta let's have a look who we've got available 
Um, I think Gulia is probably the one to go with really at the moment. Let's just see if there's anybody else quickly looking. Yeah, I think it's going to be Gulia. I don't think there's anybody else as good as her that can have a decent match with Jetta. I don't think these two have wrestled each other yet either. So there's 17 minutes for the women's title. I'll leave it blank. You never know. Um, oh yeah, I've got, I forgot. I've got a. For some reason, their stamina is not very good. Yep. So I'm going to leave it to the AI for that one, and then we'll do post-match beatdown. Like so. Right. So we've done 52 minutes. We've got. 13 minutes left, so we'll just do a quick one-on-one -on -one match with Dave Mastiff and we'll have him against Edge. I'm just curious how that will work. Um, we'll just do 10 minutes. So let's see how we get on. Right, so the women's pre-show match did all right. It's actually much, sorry. 64, which ain't too bad. Yoi was the stand-up performer with 79. The rest was just not that good at all. Zoe Brookside was okay, I suppose. Janie B is, if I can remember, I'm going to release her. She's terrible. She's absolutely terrible. 35 is just not good enough. Right, the freeway tag team match was a lot better. 81 rating. Uh, more than high, obviously retained. Darren Kearney with a 90. Darren Kearney might be slightly better than Nathan Martin. We might have two real big-time single stars coming up here. In a, um, so eventually when we break up the tag team, we, we could have them go against each other and just have a banger after banger of a match. Uh, the other stand-up performer was Scotty Davis with 83, which is really good because the last match he did, he only got a 72 or something like that. Johnny Idol, 73. Uh, Okada, 72. So that's pretty good. Yeah, the, the weak link was Daz Black. Um, but yeah... That's pretty good to look at there, um, the data. The angle afterwards did all right. Amazing Red was very underwhelming though. Right, 81 rating for the women's match. There you go. Uh, Gulia did all right, 68. But yeah, Jetta with an 80 performance was the key here. And she successfully defends the title um, for the sixth time, beating Gulia. The angle afterwards... Got a 65 rating. And then in the main event, Dave Mastiff lost to Edge in 10 minutes with the Spear. Got a 75 rating. Um, Dave Mastiff didn't do okay, but Edge got a 71. So he's, if he can get a 70 in, in every match now, I don't think that's too bad. Again, uh, again, again, somebody better, he'd probably get a better rating. So 74, we didn't improve our popularity. And we got 127 people in. So not too bad to start the episode on. Um and uh we'll see you in a sec. Right, so we've got the second afterburn episode now. Uh let's just have a look, see if we've got any absence. Yeah, so these seed the seedlings seem to have a, a show on the same time as us. Um we obviously haven't got I mean we've got DDT and Game Changer Pro as well. Uh Game Changer Wrestling, sorry as well. So that obviously gets rid of quite a few of the wrestlers. Um but it is what it is. We just we're competing with several different companies so we just got to get on with it but yeah anyway so what we'll do to kick off this show is we'll have um women's match so we'll have jetta who are we going to put jetta against today um obviously she's just recently wrestled gulia so we won't put her in it uh we'll try zaya brookside see how she gets on oh um Uh, like so, there we go, and then we'll have Jetta win. Um, we'll do a post match beat down afterwards. We'll have Zaya attacking Jetta after the match, and then what we do now is we'll put the tag titles on the line. Um, Amazing Red and Kid Lycos 2 versus Darren Kearney and Nathan Martin. Now, I know three of the workers on in this match are absolutely brilliant. 
Amazing Red is brilliant in real life, but I think on the game he's not as good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put steal the show and we'll just we'll see what happens. Um, and I'll also leave it to the AI. So you never know, we might have new tag team champions now. Um, before the match though, we'll just do a um, microphone. We'll just do a promo microphone, Nathan Martin, microphone, Darren Kearney, microphone, there we go. Like so. Um, we've done 48 minutes so far, we've got just under 20 minutes left. So what I'm going to do is put Edge in a match that hopefully will flatter him. Edge versus Joseph Connors, I think. And we'll go 15 minutes. And then let's see how we get on. So uh, actually, um, let me read this out first. So Jetta defeated Zy Brookside, um, got a 73 rating. Um, Jetta, Unfortunately, wasn't at her best. Uh, neither was Zaya. I forgot to do a promo for Edge. Edge is really gone on the mic, and it will benefit the show, so I need to start doing that. Um, Joseph Connors is pretty good on the mic as well, so I don't see that being a bad thing. Um, unfortunately, we've gone over now. Yeah. Shall I get rid of, I'm going to get rid of post-match beatdown angle with Cyborg site and Jetta. Yep. And then we'll just put this up here like so. There we go. Let's crack on with the rest. Uh, the angle with the tag teams didn't go that well, but it was all right. The tag match was absolutely superb. How did Amazing Red did? Ah, he's 41. This is ridiculous. Amazing Red is one of the best high flyers of all time. He is... Uh, I mean, I might be a bit biased because I used to love watching Ring of Honor and CCW when he was wrestling there, but he, he is amazing. But anyway, the match still did really well because the other three workers were just like super workers, as we expect. Um, 86 right in, and more than a hype retain their tag team titles. Uh, the angle with Edge and Joseph Connor's has only got a 72. A bit disappointed by that. Thought he would have done better. And then the match got a 90. Edge with a 74. See, that's the best performance Edge has done so far. So, and they have great chemistry. 90, I don't think we've had many 90s. So that is really good. But Joseph Connors was amazing. He's very underutilized here. We we have we have him in matches. We put him in. He was in our first stable with Kenny Williams, Ginny, and um, Thomas and Mark Billington. But he's kind of floundered a bit since. So maybe... I need to give him a bit of a renewed push. But yeah, increased our popularity in one region. 85, that's amazing. 127 people turned up. Uh, that's really good. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the next Afterburn episode. All right, we're back. Um, so I can't catch a break on this game. Um, my only fe best my best female worker, my only literally decent worker in the, on the women's division, um, Jetta is now uh, in the game, has become pregnant. Um, I mean, first of all, congratulations to her, uh, by all means, in the game. But yeah, it's really annoying. Um, I can technically put her in a match, um, So, but I'm not going to do it because morally I wouldn't do it in real life. But there's no way I would put a pregnant woman in the ring because just anything can happen. I don't know it's not, and it's not real life, it's a, it's a game, but it is what it is. So... What we're going to do is vacate the women's title for now. And what we're going to do is to kick off the show. Um, I need to figure out. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Right. What we're going to do is we'll do a four-way women's match for the new for the for the women's title. So we're going to have a new women's champion in this episode. Um, we're going to go female. Exclude already booked. Um, 
we've got to figure out which four women's wrestlers. Now, I know Jess is available, but we're not going to use her. So I'm thinking Yui, because, no, not, not him. Yui, because she is still available. So is Sorry. And we've got Zaya Brookside. And I think, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any actual, maybe Isle of Dawn, I suppose. We'll try Isle of Dawn. No, Gulia. So, I have Gulia in there. 15 minutes. Uh, we'll leave it to the AI to decide. Actually, do I? Yeah, we'll leave it to the AI to decide. Um, right, next match. We'll do one on one match. And we'll do. Um, we'll have Aikid. No, we won't have Aikid. I was going to put Aikid in because he was moaning because he hasn't wrestled for a while, but I'm not doing it for that reason. Right, Joseph Connors. Um, we'll have him versus Pack. Uh, they can go a distance 15 minutes. And then what we'll do is we'll do Joseph Connors promo on Pack. Um, uh, that can be before the match. And then after the match, we'll do Joseph Connors beat down on Pack. Like so. Uh, D2. Right, so that's that. Um, so we've done 47 minutes so far. We've got another 20 minutes left. So what we'll do is we'll have Edge versus Thomas Billington for the title. Um, hmm. Now this is the dilemma. Do I leave it to the AI or do I have? I haven't really done much with Thomas Billington as a champion. He's kind of been a transitional champion. Whereas I think Edge, we could get um, we could have him have a good run while while we still got. We can always rebuild Thomas Billington afterwards. There's nothing to say that we can't just float him around and then put him back in there. So I'm going to leave it to the AI. We'll figure it out from there. And that'll be that really. Um I'm gonna do a promo though with Edge. Microphone. Let's go in soon. Microphone like so. Go away, you stupid thing. There we go. Right. Um push that up there. Right, we've gone slightly over here. We've got to knock five minutes off somewhere. Actually, I'll just just get rid of this angle here. Right, there we go. Right, so in the women's title match, the four-way, Yoi defeated Soiri, um, Zaya Brookside, and Gulia. So who was the stand-up performers? Yoi and Soiri was the stand-up performers, but Gulia got a 77 as well. So like when she's with the right opponent, she can actually get a decent match. Uh, Zoe Brookside let the side down, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, good way to start the show. New women's champion. We might get all, we might get um, another new champion at the end of this, so you never know. It might be a very eventful episode of Afterburn. Uh, the the angle with Joseph Connors and Pat got a 68. The match got a 90. Jesus Christ. Both of them top of their game. Pac with an 82. Joseph Connors with an 85. That's really good to see. Uh, the angle with Edge and Thomas Billington didn't do very well. Maybe I'll stop doing angles with Edge. Just keep him in the ring. 85. Edge wins. Them. So we got another new champion, everyone. Now, I know I probably should have probably waited for the big event and had these two have a match at the big event. But I think we're just, I think with Edge, because of his age, he could retire at any point. So I think we just need to give him a, a run. Until he retires, basically, really. Just, just well, it might not be that long, but um, we just need to. And I think him as champion will give us that next level of popularity. 
But yeah, Edge with an in-ring performance of 74. So he definitely needs to be carried. So we need him in against people like Thomas Billington, Nathan Martin, and Kid Lycos to build that title reign up. But yeah, 85. We've improved popularity in one region. We've got 82 overall, 129 people turned up. Not too bad at all. I'm going to have a look when this finishes in a sec. I'm going to have a look at the the titles and we're just going to see how popular our title is at the moment. Hopefully Edge winning it will has helped boost it a little bit and then we can give him a good run with it and, and get the title up to a certain standard. Let's just check the news items first. Um, 4,801 people watched that. I think that's a bit up. I think it was 3,000 before. Uh, right, titles. Uh, 46. So I don't know if that's gone up or down. I don't know. Let's have a look. Track prestige. There we go. So it's going up slowly but surely. It hasn't really gone up much. Um, but it's been quite consistent in the 40s under Thomas Billington's reign. So fair play to him. Hopefully Edge can get that up a bit more. Let's have a look at the prestige of the tag titles. 46 as well for that. Maybe they're both. Don't, maybe they're all 46 because of the fact that we've been only around for a certain amount of time is the women's the women's won't be because the, i only added the women halfway through so but it's 42 which ain't too bad um but yeah but yeah our um overall prestige is up we are 25 percent prestige now 88 percent momentum um when's our next show in six days so you know the score i'll be back in a sec with the next part right we're back with the next afterburn episode uh what i've done is because i've got a fairly big roster now um and there's quite a few people moaning so i've done some i don't know like a 30 man battle royal there and i've done so i don't know uh, a couple of women's multi-person matches just to get them out on there and just to also try a few women wrestlers that i haven't um put in any matches yet in the debut see if they're any good so that's that so let's just start the first um with a Five way singles women's match for the title. Um, who won the title? I can't remember now. It was your, your, uh, your, wasn't it? You, that's it. You, not you as in you, the viewer, as in you, the wrestler, but a bunch. Um, for some reason we are lacking in color commentators. Try by roll. Right. Don't know what's happened here. One, maybe my colour commentators left. So I put Buddy Ray in there. Um, da, 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 da. Right, sorry, I lost. I got caught off there because I wasn't expecting that. Women, here we go. So we've got Yoi, who's the women's champion. We've put Sori in there. We put um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gulia in there, Isla Dawn and mm, Valkyrie. Let's see what happens here. Let's also see if we get another women's new women's champion, you never know. Um how do I correct the announcers thing? I don't think I can before the show. Oh I can. The Grado is not available, so we'll just have to put Bully Ray in there. Right, I think that saved it. Let's just check. Yeah. So hopefully we've got the rest of the show. It's got Bully Ray in there. There we go. Bully Ray. Excellent. Right. I can uh, relax now. That just completely, like I said, completely caught me off guard. So do Pack versus. Uh, Thomas Billington, who obviously is no longer the champion. We'll go 15 minutes with that. Actually, we'll go 17 minutes. And then we'll do a post-match post beatdown. Um, by the way, I watched the WrestleMania 40 um, video on YouTube that they released with all the backstage stuff. It was alright, don't get me wrong, but it was so it, there was nothing new there. 
Um, there was no new information or anything like groundbreaking. It was quite disappointing, really, to be honest. But yeah, right. Um, I don't think we're gonna have time for another match because we've got to put another angle in, or else we're gonna go over. We'll just put Edge against who should we have him against? In a quick squash match. Um. We've already had him against, we'll put him against Kid Lycos. Get away, there we go. We'll just leave it as 10 minutes. Everybody title, edge, retaining. Um, 58 minutes, we've got to do, oh, we don't have to do an angle actually. But I know if I up this now, no, not that. If I up this now to say 13 minutes, we'll go slightly. Oh no, that's alright, we can leave this 13 minutes, that's fine. As long as we don't get penalised, that's fine. Right, so this pre show match was won by Haruko Kato. Um, Aisha Ray got a 71, which is pretty okay, so maybe we could try her out in some other, with uh, with some of the other women wrestlers we've got, like Surrey and Yoin, see if she can uh, step up in a, with better competition. Um, We've got Pom Harajuku as well, who was pretty decent. Um, but the rest, I mean, Kim Kimberly was okay. Maybe we can try her out as well. But it was all right. 62 rating overall. And then the Men's Battle Royal, um, Damien Coleman won it. The final four was Bauman Bruiser, Blue Kane, and Levi Muir. Got 75 rating overall. Um, because there's so many, I don't know if it'll be under here, wouldn't it? Booking details. Yeah, it's it's not I don't think it's gonna give us individual ratings, no. Right, okay, that's fine. Um Don Castle was really off his game, Miro was really off his game, Miro was rusty. Right, so the other women's match that I put on the pre show, um Waka Tosuki Yama won. Got fifty five rating. Um nobody I mean um so Tosuka to Ashi was okay, but the the rest were just not worth it at all. Our women's division is so rubbish at the moment. Then again, I say that. Well, I mean, I say that, but the two of the workers in this match aren't going to be here much longer now. Um, sorry wins the women's title. So Yoi, you, sorry, whatever her name is, did not keep the title for long. Um, yeah, Valkyrie with the 76, so that's pretty good. To know Isla Dawn, not so good. Weak link of the match, but 80 rating overall, which is really good for a women's match that we've had lately. In an exceptional match, Pack defeated Thomas Billington with the shooting star press. Um, both people, both wrestlers perform well. The angle afterwards got an 81 as well, so maybe Pack is pretty good at angles. And then the main event, Edge defeated Kid Lycos, got a 80 rating. Edge with a 74, Kid Lycos with a 76. Um, probably would have been better if Kid Lycos 2 was on his game before she was off his game, whatever that means. But um, pretty good. Improved our popularity in one region, 18. We've got 143 people. We usually get like 127 or something. So it makes a big difference having Pac and Edge on the show. So I think maybe we need to just keep putting them on the shows. I might, I might think about bringing having another um singles men's title on there um maybe a tv title or something like like an afterburn title but we'll see um let's have a quick look at the viewing figures yeah about the same so right let's have a quick look at our next show so our next afterburn episode is in six days so we'll do that one and then what we'll do is project mayhem and then that'll be it for this episode because uh it's going to be a long one this one but yeah, I'll be, oh yeah, Jet is off for maternity leave in 14 days, so she'll be out for like nine months or longer. But you know, here's what it is. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next part. Right, so here's the Afterburn episode before the big event. Um, so um, yeah, let's see what we start with. So I think maybe Thomas Billington versus, no, we did pack early, didn't we? Uh, David Boy Smith Jr. He hasn't wrestled for a while. Battle of the Cousins here. 
cousins. I can't remember if they're, they, they're related in some way. Cousin of cousin, uh, second cousins. Um, I don't know how it works because Thomas Billington is Dynamite Kid's nephew, and then David Boy Smith is obviously the British Bulldog's son. So they are related in some way. I just can't figure it out at the top of my head. Uh, we'll do a post match beatdown. Just to keep the uh, these, these people happy so I don't get penalised. Uh, next match is going to be. We haven't done a, don't think we've done a tag title match for ages, so. Four way tag team match. Tag team. 17 minutes and then we'll go mail tag team view exclude already booked we've got the team of more than height the tag champions um rebels no 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 the cult maybe put the cult in there actually um yeah put the cult in there put the shadows and then put the showstoppers in there. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So I can't have these as a tag team. I need to split the tag team up actually, to be honest. So I'll put the, oh, I've already done that. Um, the young guns, no, they're rubbish. Pretty deadly probably. What about extreme heat? No, they, unfortunately not, no. Oh, I've done the wrong tag team there. Um, there we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Right. We'll have the tag champs retain. We do need some stability. We can't keep having championships change every week. We're not WCW in 2000 under Vince Russo. Yeah, right. 46 minutes. We've got 20 minutes left. We've got to do probably another angle as well. So we'll have, I think, a four-way. Actually, we'll go six-way singles match for the men's title. We'll go 15 minutes. So we'll have Edge. Pack. Joseph Connors. Let's see what else we can put in this. Mail. Uh, let's have a look. We're going to put Zybernetico in there. Um, actually, put Gabe Stevenson in there as well. Uh, just trying to think who else to put in here, really. Rampage Brown, probably. Rich Swan, probably is the choice, actually. Yeah, put Rich Swan in there. So we've got one, two, three really good workers. I don't know how Gabe Stevenson or Cybernetico will do, and we know Edge will be okay. Um, we'll have Edge retain the title. We want to give him a decent run at the moment. Uh, book that. Pac is unhappy. Hmm, okay, well, hmm, do we take Pac out of this match? No, we'll just drive him afterwards. We'll just give him a. Um, we'll do. We'll have Pac attack Edge after the match. Set up a big match for them at the event that's coming up. Um, we are we are over by seven minutes. So what what we do then is get rid of that. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, still going to be too high. You know, knock this down. Say we'll knock this down by five minutes. Yes, it will unfortunately affect the quality of the match, but at least we won't be penalised. Um, we are slightly okay. Right, let's go. Um, Thomas Binnington defeats Dynamite. Sorry, Davy Boy Smith Jr. Got a 77 rating. 
David Boy Smith didn't perform very well, but Diane, um, Thomas Bloomington did. Tag title match, uh, got a 79 rating. Obviously, the tag champions stood out, but Kid Lycos also performed really well. Um, Kit Wilson and, El and Elton Prince were okay. They're a pretty good tag team, to be honest. And then the rest was just rubbish. Less we say about them, the better. Right. Main event, Edge defeats Park, Joseph Connor, Cybernetico, Gabe Stevenson, and Rich Swan. Um, 81 rating for the match. Park. Got an 82, Joseph Connors with 85, Cybernetico only with a 40, which is not very good. Rich Swan with 84, Gabe Stevens with a 63, which is okay, I suppose. Um, but yeah, Joseph Connors and Toddy Blanchard have great chemistry. So um, before this show, I put a few old wrestlers as managers for certain wrestlers. Um, Arn Anderson is with uh, is managing Pack, and I've got Toddy Blanchard managing. Um, Joseph Connors, so hopefully that will help him. And then the angle afterwards got an 80. No popularity changes, 80 rating for the show, 144 people overall. So I think them extra seats each week is because we've had Pack and Edge in there. Maybe eventually, obviously, Pack is probably the best one to go with for the title. Um, but at the moment, we'll just have Edge in there for a bit because we don't want to keep swapping the heavyweight title over. Um, we had a decent run with it with Thomas Billington, but it was nothing amazing because I didn't really book it very well. It was kind of just, it was what it was. Uh, Jetta to retire. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Right, uh, we've got a big event in four days, so I'll be back in a minute with the next big event for the show. Right, we're back with the um, big event of the show um, offline I have done a few um, uh, 10 woman and 10 man matches two, two for the men one for the women just to get as many people on the shows as possible to stop them moaning um, plus you never know I might come across uh, a superstar you just don't know by the way offline when I've been um, progressing through the days before the next show uh, unfortunately, um, Jetta is retiring and Kim Kimber Lee is pregnant, so she's gone and she was going to be one that I was going to push. Oh, and you and you and Sarori have gone as well, so there goes my whole decent women's division. As always, we have to just get on with it, really. So, we've got I think Valkyrie. Um, Pom Hadjuka. Um, we can technically put Jetta and Kimberly in the match, but we're not going to for moral, uh, moralistic issues, whatever. Because in the game they're pregnant. I don't. I wouldn't do it in real life, so I wouldn't do it in the game. So I think Gulia. Actually, who is the women's? Oh yeah, because we we've, we've now got no women's champion. So this is we're gonna have a new women's champion again in this match. Um, Valkyrie, I think, and then oh, I don't know who do we put in there? Isla Dawn, Beckler. I think, uh, I think Zai Brookside is the one to go with. So, women's, and then we'll have Gulia win it. Valkyrie is not happy, but she'll just have to get over it. And then what we'll do then is have Valkyrie fighting and then Gulia selling. So we'll have her attack Gulia after the match, set the singles match for them. Right, next one we'll do is a we'll do a triple threat tag team match. For tag titles. Uh, we'll go 17 minutes. And we'll have the tag champions in there. Um, we haven't really got many tag teams actually, so it'll be it'll be literally pretty deadly. And uh, they don't trust. If I can click 
that I don't trust. Rebel Cell uh, as a tag team. So yeah, so we'll go Kit Wilson and <coughs> Elton Prince versus Kid Lycos and Amazing Red. Keep the tag titles on the champions for now. Because we need some stability in one of our divisions at least. Um, right, next match we'll do one-on-one -on -one match. We haven't got many wrestlers left actually, to be honest. We kind of stretched ourselves a bit here. So we'll do... Uh, Scotty Davis versus Thomas Billington. Um, we'll do post match beat down by Thomas Billington on Scotty Davis. Um, right, so we've done 70 minutes. We've still got quite a lot to go. I think we're just best off sticking to singles matches <clears throat> uh, we've got nobody on the women's side that will get us a good match so we've got hmm, who can we put in here we are really scraping the barrel here Davy Boy, Smith Jr Grado Joseph Connors so I think maybe the main event could be Edge versus Pac versus Joseph Connors so then we could do Rampage versus Rich Swan. Hopefully they'll have a good match. And then what we'll do is how long have we got left? 87 minutes. We've got oh we've got to do another singles match now. So who have we got left that we can throw in here that will have a decent match? Dave, I think we've already done Dave Mastiff versus David Boy Smith Jr. recently. Uh, Kieran Kelly, maybe. So we've got, out of the good workers we've got left, we've got Joseph Connors Pack. Edge can probably have a decentish match. Um, Dave, David, Dave Mastiff can probably have a decentish match. Dalton Castle. That's about it, really. We are really up. Like I said, we're. I'll put a kid in there versus AR Fox. And we'll just have it as a high spots match. Have that as a high spots match. We'll have AR Fox attack him afterwards. There we go, like so. Um, right, so we've got, yeah, we can just do the main event now. Three-way singles. Edge versus Pack versus Joseph Connors. Um, I'm doing, I'm going to change it. Um, I think... Park as the champion is the way to go. We'll do still the show. I just think because he's a bit younger and I think he's a better worker. Um, Edge is good, but he doesn't need to be in the main event with the championship to, to be over with the crowd. So we are good to go. Right, so the women's 10-woman match was won by Bianca Corelli. Um, Jessica Love sustained a grade. AC joint separation, that sounds very painful. Um, was there any standout women's performers? Not really. Uh, Aisha Ray got a 65. So, yeah, okay, right. In the men's 10 uh, man match, got a 67. William, William Grunge did okay with a 72. Um, Harris De Silva got a 75, which isn't too bad. The rest were just not worth it at all. Poor London needs to go. Um, OJ Hart probably needs to go as well. And Tony Harting needs to go as well, I think. Right, in the other pre-match 10-man match that we had, this got a 65. Uh, Mr. Reyes Jr. 
got a 72, so I think he was the best worker out of the lot. Yeah, so nothing really worth telling you about on there. Now let's start with the main show. So the four-way women's match got a 79. Um, they, Julia, or Gulia, however you pronounce her name, got a 77. She was the standout performer in this match. Um, Hom Harajuku did well as well, got a 75. Valkyrie got a 73. Cy Brookside was the weak link of the match. But not too bad. And then the angle afterwards got a 53. Uh, the tag team match got an 80 rating. Darren Kearney with another 90. Nathan Mike with 88. Ethan uh, Prince 71. And then Kid Lockhouse 84. Um, the rest were not very, the other two weren't very good, especially Amazing Red, which is such a shame. Right, 83 rating for the Thomas Billington match versus Scott Davis. Thomas Billington won. Angle afterwards got a 64. Rampage Brown versus Rich Swan got an 81 rating. Um, both didn't perform very well. They don't click, so we got to try and remember not to put them in a singles match next time. Aker versus AR Fox got a 73. Uh, AR Fox did well, A Kid did not. Maybe I'll need to get rid of A Kid, I think. Angle afterwards got a 36. And then the main event, Hawk defeated Edge and Joseph Connors to win the match. Got, um, he's won the heavyweight title. Um, Joseph Connors was the standout performer. Sadly, Pack didn't do that. He got 78, it was all right. Right, so we've improved our popularity for 55 regions. We've got a 79 rating overall, and we've got 506 people, which is the biggest crowd we've ever done. So that's really promising. We're now starting to get some big crowds in every week. Hopefully that'll help us financially as well. Uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look and see what, how the show did uh, viewership-wise before we go. Just wait for this to finish up. Yeah. I've got a really quick laptop or else this would have took way longer, trust me. I've had I've had this game on my previous laptop and my previous laptop was pretty quick as it was and it just took forever to process. This one's so much quicker. But yeah, so we got 24,884 viewers overall, which is really good. 0.01 rating, 3,900 domestic viewers. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Let's just have a quick look in the office. 25% uh, prestige. So we've had momentum's gone down massively. 10%. What 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 helps with momentum? Can somebody let me know in the comment section? Is it to do with the 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 popularity of the workers that I have, or is it just I don't know? Could somebody just explain it to me uh, in the comment section? I would appreciate it. So right there, that's that then. Um, next episode will be on Wednesday next week. Hopefully, unless something happens again. You know what it's like with me and me trying to record things on certain days. Doesn't always seem to go to plan. So yeah, anyway, on that note, I am going to, uh, first of all, two seconds. I'll just expand this like so. There we go. Anyway, thank you as always. Um, feel free to like the video, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Always appreciate it, whether it's good or bad. Uh, any booking advice, let me know. And like I said, I'll be back on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. All the best. Bye.